Hi everyone, I'm Joshua Fletcher. Welcome to another DS Layer. Today's subject is installing Business Intelligence 4 and Data Services 4. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our security policy. We're going to run uh, the services as a local administrator in a service account. So the first things we need to check are the user rights assignment in the local security policy. First of all, act as part of the operating system. You can see I've got my SVC user there, as well as log on as a batch job and log on as a service, as well as replace a process level token. Those are the four uh, rights we need to assign to our service account. What we'll do next is make sure that we've got an ODBC connection set up for our CMS and audit databases because I'm using SQL Server 2008, so I've already defined those two uh, database connections. And what we'll do first is run the BI server installation files. Choose a language for the setup. Make sure we've uh, got all our prerequisites set, so that's fine. And then we'll get into the installer. Accept the license agreement, of course. Put in our uh, username, uh, sorry, our, our name, organization, and our product key code. And this is just a trial key I'm putting in, so it won't work. Once we've done our license key, we can then move on to the next step, which is choosing our language pack. So for me, it's just English. I'm going to do a full install of BI4. Make sure I specify the location for the install folder, which I'll set to the D drive. Now we're going to use an existing database connection. And uh, what we'll then do is use SQL Server for that. Same for my auditing database. So I'll set that up. And I'm going to install Tomcat as the application server and deploy the wall files to that. We will set up Lifecycle Manager automatically, so we'll install a new subversion. I'll set up the uh, CA node name as BI4. And we'll also leave the CMS as port 6400. Now our administrator password will set, we'll just set it to admin1, and we'll also set our CMS cluster key to admin1, which will encrypt or communication with the service. Now setting up our database connections, we'll define our uh, connection to the CMS database using our ODBC connection that we had already set up, as well as the connection to our audit database using the, the our audit ODBC connection. Now when we configure Tomcat, I'm gonna to change the default port of 8080 to port 80, so that we can uh, we don't have to specify a port number. And we then move on to setting up the passwords for subversion so I'm just setting them as well to admin1. We're not going to set up uh, configuration with Solution Manager as well as Introscope integration. We're going to leave that one. And what I'll now do is do a little bit of processing and come back with the screen to let us kick off the install. So I'll click Next and the installation will start soon. So once the install starts, what we'll do is we'll jump ahead and our install is now finished. So we'll read our post installation instructions and ignore them. <laughs> and now what we'll do is we'll execute service pack one installation. So we'll find our service pack one install files and run that executable. Now this install is pretty straightforward. It'll just service pack the um, existing um, RTM release of BI4. So I'll wait for the installer to load. And once we've installed Service Pack 1, then we can move on to installing Data Services 4. So we'll choose our installer language again, English, and we'll make sure the prerequisites are okay. And then we'll click Next to start the installer. It'll load some files. This, not, this took about 45 seconds, so we'll skip ahead for that. And we'll accept the license agreement. We'll put in our administrator, business source administrator password to connect to the CMS. Make sure there's a CMS there to patch. And uh, then we'll click go for the installer. Now the installer started, we'll skip ahead again. So now it's finished. 
And the next thing we're going to do is install data services for. So we'll run our data services for in uh, setup executable. Wait for that to load. Now again, choose the installer language. There's a few prerequisites here, nothing that's uh, um, mandatory. So we'll move into the installer. Choose our license agreement. Again, put in our details, our name and organization, as well as a trial license key. The destination will be the same. We'll use English and we'll log on to our CMS as a start. And this will connect data services to the BI4 installer. It will start and uh, stop and restart all the services, so we need to make sure that's okay. We then choose what components we want. I'm installing uh, effectively everything except the metadata integrator and uh, some additional text data processing languages. And then we're going to skip the configuration uh, to reuse an existing config file. We're going to use an existing database server, which is just another SQL Server database that I've already set up. And this will add the repository uh, into BI4 as well. So uh, it's my local host. I'll put in the database name and the authentication. And we then move into the next options being about the default job server creation. Once it gets there. So I'll leave it as the default port, 3500. Next is the uh, additional job server configuration. I'm just going to leave it all as default, but it's now uh, running as SSL by default in Data Services 4. We'll also change the uh, Data Services service to run as my service account. If you set up the local um, this rights before, use rights assignment. With my Access Server, I'm going to disable that. So it'll still configure it, but it just will be disabled. We'll leave the default ports for the metadata browsing service as well as the metadata service. And we're now ready to install the data services for. So we'll click next and our installer will start. And once again, we're gonna jump ahead. So our installer is now finished and what we're gonna do is make sure everything's running. So we're gonna open Internet Explorer. And the first thing I wanna do is log on to the CMC which is now under BOE forward slash CNC, all uppercase of course. And just enable my intranet settings. And we'll log on to the CMC. The administrator account. And we're going to restart. So first thing we'll do is look at our license keys. And you see we've just got the one license key there for Enterprise Premium. Not too sure where data services goes. Interesting question. But we've also now got this data services option. And when we go into here, you'll see we've got a list of repositories and I've got my BIDS repo there. And here is where we can set security to see which users can actually access that repository if they have read-only access and so on. Now we'll log into BI Launchpad, which is under BOE forward slash BI. And this is our new BI Launchpad in BI4. When it finishes loading, so we've got a nice, uh, view of all our Android messages, recently used documents, and so on. What about Lifecycle Manager? That's now under BOE LCM. So all under the same WAR file. And we'll just make sure that LCM is running. We can log into that. So we'll log in. And that's all fine. Now our Data Services Management Console is under data services. So here our system isn't set, so we'll set we'll input that in. As well as our username and password. And we can see there we can log into our uh, management console and under the administrator area we can see our repositories already be mapped in. Last thing we're going to do is open up data services designer and make sure we can log on to that. So we'll open up the design tool 
and we're going to put in our system, which is the VM Win BR4, port 6400, and our username and password, port BI4. And when we log on, that will then show us a list of available repositories uh, that our user has access to. So wait for that to come back. And there's our repository, so we'll choose that one and click OK. And that now opens up Data Services Designer with that repository that we selected. And it'll mention open, and there's our Data Services Designer. So what we've seen today is a full installation of Business Intelligence 4, Service Packed, as well as Data Services 4 installed on the same server. Thank you.